Secret sauce. Actually, a better drive than I expected it to be. It's a minter. Feels like my windscreen's gonna smash in, mate. Sophie said these look awful, she doesn't like these, but... I knew that when he was in, I thought, oh, it's taking too long, something's not right. And now this morning, for some reason, it just won't start when the person wants to take it away. So, we need to do best car bought, best car sold. But, best car bought, it's gotta be this one. Right, before we get into the video, I just want to ask you a massive favour, and that is to subscribe to the Shifting Metal YouTube channel. I know everyone asks you this, and it's really annoying, but it really does help me out, and I'm willing to put my money where my mouth is. I am putting up a Tag Heuer Formula One watch that's worth £2,000 on Pride and Pinion right now, and I'm going to give it away completely for free as soon as we hit 75,000 subscribers. So if you're already subscribed, thank you very much. You're in with a chance of winning the watch. If you haven't already, do it now. It's free to do, and everybody wins. Suspension arm corroded but not seriously weakened, all rear. So, worst case scenario, but four suspension arms in it, which you wouldn't need to just clean them, clean some of them up. Is that uh, Just yeah. to get rid of all the thingies. So, I thought that might be a car to rattle off. Yeah. For the main boys, Jack, the ladders. Get it all booked in. Whatever. Because obviously, the advisories are putting people off, I think. So, he's been trying to sell it, but no uh, one wants okay. it. Okay. No, but yeah. it'd be a good. Oh, so it's actually got. It's, it's got it's got MOT, yeah, but it would just be nice to sort all those bits out and have a nice clean MOT, and then we can yeah, clean it up yeah, and raffle it off. Try and raise some money for this lad who's having another cancer and whatever. Yeah, arm corroded. Is the rear suspension arm corroded. Oh, that's just going to be it. okay. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. No, no bother. We'll get it booked in. Just did a little story on Instagram, just to. Just to wind up the boys, Chops and Dave. I put up a, just done some nice sort of promo pics of our cars and I put A5 Sportback because no one's hoping you pick them up in an I-20 or a Mini. <laughs> and Chops has laughed at it. Yeah, I just told definitely not really after this. So you're a plumber, not an electrician? Or an electrician. Can you not come up around the back of it? Well, like the back. Mm. Well, what you got to do is tuck it into these bits, haven't you? Yes. Yeah. 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 Because if you if you run it in front of the airbag and it deploys, that's like a kind of cross people. Okay, we're doing that. If not, I'll get Steph to come and yeah, get involved. You. I'll have a go at running it up and round and trying to tuck it into this. Yeah. The only thing is where to put that big sort of block connector. That'll be. If I get to like, say here, and that big kind of block connector's there is where to put it. I'll try and take as few, and I guess you've already got to get them up there, a few panels off as possible, just, just tuck it all. It's like the Fiat 500. Fucking twat. Oh, yeah, I have diesel in it. No, oh, really? It's obviously, you know, I did it ages ago. Oh, okay. It's only half a litre or so, but it's obviously set up to the bottom because we haven't driven it enough. Didn't mix in. Well, it started. Blow it smoke. Fuck, fuck, fuck. But, this should be fine still. <laughs> we'll, um, we've done a finance application, so it's. He's good. <laughs> Um, no. Yeah. They went down the valet as in, in the car, in the golf box. Fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. Or in a secret ID hole or something? Yeah. Secret glove box. We both pulled the same face when we opened it. So annoying, isn't it? How's that? Serious. Serious. You said he's beating the wheel nuts off of. Three glove boxes. 
One you can't see, two you can. Mm. That's the build quality there, mate. It's full on top of that dashboard. That's how they got to, it's lucky there, and they got two sets of gloves and lock it with. So a Syrian in theatre is that back? Or is no, it going? He's doing the land and stuff on it at the moment and right. it back for a retest in the paperwork. We need to beat the wheel on top of that yet. So oh I see, so it's past an MOT but just need the wheel nuts. We've just got to change the wheel nuts. Yeah. I'd hold fire on a Syrian until we know it's passed. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna see it. Yeah. Uh I could probably ask Adrian if he could just get the wheel nuts done on that. Oh, don't worry. I just want to make sure we've got nothing else to do. I'll text the guy and just say that when you love, he wants to go out. Okay, yeah, fab. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, Joe, what red is your car? Yeah, 15? Which car? Your Beamer. Why one? GY15. Enjoy. No, sorry. I'm sorry. Why are you Googling that? Oh, because you were asking about wheels the other day, and I was like, oh, uh, I, had, I was looking for wheels, and I was like, hang on a minute. You're not on. You're not on E91. I'm pretty sure you're an F31. I'm pretty sure. Or an F80 or something. I'm sorry, no, it wasn't F81. I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure. Maybe that's maybe that's four series. Four series. I've got no clue after E91. Three series. Because you had an E92. Yeah. No, uh, yeah. 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 F31 is what we got. I don't understand the, the numbers either. They make no sense anymore. That's why I see if I can find some cheap wheels for you. Not now. No, don't worry right now. No, I'm not. I did look around. There, there are some, but I don't know if I can actually follow them or not. Oh, I just look in the world of um, uh, um, Facebook Marketplace. Not new ones, no. Yeah. These are my Bottle mix. bodged. Yeah. Oh, well bodged. And I want to see if my... Yeah, I mean, they, they fold them. Right? Does what it should, yeah. Because I've also got a Remax thing at home for my old 3 Series, which is the same engine. So I want to find out if my Remax fits your car. You're like, there's your pedal commander and here's a Remax. And there goes the timing chain. No, it's a really, really, um, it's a 10 horsepower in that. Like a baby, a baby, baby one. Like jobby. Should we go have a look at this uh, white Fiesta now that it's not so a boider? Quarter nice little motor now. Yeah? It's actually reasonably clean. With the front splitter off as well, that's good. Three cars from BCA, um, so we need to figure out who's going to go and collect those now. Need a bother. Shocker. So this 
For those of you that follow me on TikTok, I'm now on TikTok and I post on there quite a lot. Um, my username is shifting.metal. We bought this in part exchange last week. I put a little video up with it going like, down, the, down the street after we yeah, took it in part exchange. Had a bad boy exhaust on it. Sounded atrocious. Toby, I think, I think he thought it sounded quite cool. I didn't really hear it properly. He didn't really hear it properly, is it? I did hear it. Properly. Anyway, we put the original exhaust back on now. It's going to go on as a uh, sort of like part X to clear down the farm. Get it out of here. We don't want to sell it from here. Should we do a vehicle score on it? Because I haven't done one on it. I don't know how it's going to score. I want to know how much MRT it's got left, actually, because it might need one. Uh, the Reg is Charlie Kilo on one, Foxtrot Hotel, Foxtrot. Mm, 450 out of 999. Pretty average. Let's have a look. Uh, it's got a current MRT. It's not taxed. It's not surprising. Bad bits over two failed comments on recent MRTs. Vehicle's over 10 years old. Mileage is above 80,000. It's about 95,000, this thing, I think. Vehicle details. It's got MOT for 272 days. We're quids in, we ain't gonna do anything with this. We can just sell it on. Uh, mileage tracker looks okay. It's a 1.6. I incorrectly called it a 1.2 because I think someone told me it was a 1.2. But it's the 1.6, the ZTEC S. Let's have a look at the performance for this bad boy. 118 brake horsepower. Top speed of 114 miles an hour. Loads of information using vehicle score on your vehicle. It's pretty, pretty much go to app now for just checking out things. Like I say, with the MOT, for example, we can check whether it's ULES compliant. Things can be ULES compliant. It is petrol. It is ULES compliant. So if you're looking for a cheap ULES compliant car, this could be the one for you. And then if I was buying this privately and I was going to shell out my own money, I would do a history check. So you can do either the salvage report for two pounds ninety-seven. The ultimate report for £8.97 or the ultimate report plus for £11.97, which is the same as the ultimate report. We've got £10,000 worth of Experian data guarantee. Use my code shifting metal 20 and it's only £9.58. Absolute bargain if you're going to shell out two or three grand. I'm buying a car. We're going to clean this up now. Obviously, that's why I'm cleaning it. And we're going to take it to go and pick up three more cars from BCA. Then we'll take it back to the farm so it can stay there and then come back. So me. Josh and Toby are going to load up in this bad boy in a minute. It's going to be an interesting ride. So that looks better. I'm going to give it the old secret sauce. A bit of tango. I'm sure loads of other people do think it's a bit like that posset called polar seal. It's just like a silicone based type thing. Aquaphobic. It looks like it's been polished, which obviously it most definitely has not. You watch it Now is a shifting metal air freshener. She's ready to go. It could do with a Hoover really, but we're not gonna bother. It's got a third of a tank of fuel. Yeah. Me, Josh, and Toby Just while you're there, we go. You know it's lady with the Mercedes against the Maserati. Yeah, it's a universal centre. I'm gonna say we're not gonna go nuts with this. Would be my approach. She said I've been offered another thousand pounds by we buy the car. Yeah, no yeah, because even said so we had the box. So we'll that then. The, sensor, and, um, the best I could do is I can't put it above the cap clean, and that's if it doesn't tell you what. Say it's just it's it's out of our normal car. criteria. Yeah. yeah, that's why I said the nicest way, but I don't want to go nuts on it. And I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to leave this website. That's all right. That's what I want to do. I'm going to go pick up a few cars and move back. Take a Fiesta? Yeah. 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 Is that both Fiesta's done now? Will be, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. See you in a bit. See you in a bit. I'm going to stick some tyre shine on this before we. <laughs> <laughs> Let's 
spray it all up the car. Oh, you already done it, have you? I did open it up and I was like, wow, that's actually really clean. Yeah, yeah, no, it's not going there. Fiesta engines are usually like quite good induction noise. Mm. It's actually a better drive than I expected it to be. I don't know if it has been lowered or not. What's that? I don't know if it's been lowered or not. It looks like it could have been. Yeah, I think it's just on stiffer springs, isn't it? It's not a bad ride. No. Was this the uh, Part X for the uh, Audi A4, was it? Um. What's this a part X against? It might have been the Audi A4. No, that, the Audi A4 was the other little Fiesta, the little silver one, I think. Oh, was it? Ah, oh, right, This okay. was a part X against... I want to say like an Evoque or something, but... Okay. I'm not sure it was. Oh! The young laddie. No, no, because he had the Skoda Fabier. 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 <laughs> Le, Le Fabier. <laughs> what went out on Saturday? Oh, no, it wasn't the Golf GTI, was it? Power. I'm actually surprised at how decent this car feels. Look. Going down the motorway, everyone's going to hate me for taking my hands off the steering wheel, but it's, it's not doing anything weird. It's not vibrating much. I dread to think how many cars I've bought from VCA Bridgewater. Hundreds upon hundreds, at least 300. I reckon. If we're doing like 100, well, 150 cars a year from VCA, I guess, but. Not all of them are for Bridgewater. All right, I'm going to go and get uh, some keys and shizzle. You can hop over into the driver's seat if you want. When I yeah. come over, you can, you can drive around. You can right. drive around now if you want. See if you can find the cars. You don't know what they look like, do they? No. All right, there's a brown Evoque. Yeah. Uh, Normally in this bit, one. aren't they? Yeah. A brown Evoque, a black Ford Edge, yeah. and a red Mini Cooper, uh, Mini Clubman type thing. That's uh, my evoke there, but it doesn't does it? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. The Ford Edge is in row B. We'll take the other two. What we'll do is we'll take them down there, drop those two off. I'll take photos of those while you go back and get the other one. Come back, drop this off, and we all go back in the Ford Edge. Don't worry. Don't, over, don't overheat your brain. <laughs> Me and Mark will grab a car each now, we'll all go down the farm and I'll give you more instructions then. Okay. Oh no! Look at the boots. The boot's not magnetic. Why don't you put it in the car with me? It doesn't look very brown, does it? No. Fiesta key in there, is it? Yep. Cool. We're taking this trade pet back. Yeah. Uh, yeah, red money's around there. The key's probably in it. And the white Fiesta is yours as well. Lovely. And there's a silver Fiesta, but I think Josh will take a picture of it. Okay. Oh my god! That's lovely. <laughs> the seats, you press a button, they fold down. <laughs> oh, they don't come back up though by themselves.
dirty. Oh, he's scratched the door. Bad as it looks. Oh, I've just started doing that. Sorry, are you this? Come on, let's go. Let me put it up. So here we are, lovely Peugeot. So come on here. And that is um, a lot of scoring on the desks. They're okay for a little longer. The old advice: anyone to replace them. Um, there's a knock. And some roll bar links, they're knocking. It's got um, heavy oil leak from the engine. That's all split. Then it's not leaking, it's it's not holding uh, CV grease anymore. Again, steering rack, it's split. Someone's cable tied it up, tried, tried to make it last for longer, but again, it's split. This is also knocking. Again, so both, both steering, the anti roll bar links. The packed fluid, I believe it's called. Uh, it's split and it's leaking through its box. There is a uh, wheel bearing wear. Minimal though, Min very, very minimal. Not, not that bad. As you come to the back, come under here. That is um, broken. This one is nearly, very nearly broken. Very, very nearly. Yeah, and this side's, this side's the only good side. This side's fine. So it's okay. Got another, another good one. But other than that, it's a minter. <laughs> it's a minter. It's not rusty, but yeah, it's not too bad other than that. So I got the I got the boots just down there. Put one of those on. <laughs> the faults we found with it. Uh, it had a um, it has a low fluid fault and some other little bits on the actual diagnostic machine. But other than that, it's alright. Got new boots. Yeah. Good, it's a good car. There you go. I'm getting this side off now and I'm going to do the boot. Have you seen this thing? Have you seen what it does? It's a bit suspicious. It's a bit suspicious. Baltimore Fire Chief James W. Wallace. Let's just give him more details about the incident. There were likely multiple people on the bridge at the time of the collapse. As a result, bit suspicious. people were on time. I was about to go out and start, I might start doing like 60 second car reviews, be like, it's got this engine, it's got that, whatever, and whatever. But um, yeah. yeah, as long as I know it's going to be 499. Did you order a bonnet handle for that? TT done? No, I have not, 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 not very second. Is it actually broken, broken? Oh yeah. So I don't know if you it off. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll do it, because like I said, I've just done a new video on the page, so. I'd rather see a bit of movement going on and then we can get the good stuff back in, can't we? Yeah, these yeah, two should be good, so. I'll do it right now. Well, oh, on breath, this Cougar, 1250 pounds. I was like, what? Fuck, is Yeah, I don't know what the fuck we paid. Have they done it? No, not yet. Okay. Well, We've we ordered need, bits. We need to double check then. This would be a nice opportunity to remind them. I'm pretty sure we've double paid you 500 quid. Okay. At some point. Um, so exactly 500 quid? Well, I can't remember, but I think we paid it via card and bank transfer. When? I can't remember exactly. I'll have to have a look into it. Uh, roughly? Like this year, last year? I think it would be towards the end of last year. I can't remember what it was on, but I think one of the lads paid for it on the card yeah, and, then you did it. and then they sent me an invoice and I paid it, whatever. Yes, I will. I'm going to lose the Pedia sheet now that it's been done. Um, might as well. If somebody wants to look it up, they can. But I've got to... I mean, it's had bulbs done. It had some bolts replaced, but I've not put bolts and bolts. No, no, no. It's good stuff. That's the good stuff. All reset. So it's serviced as well. Yeah. Yeah, it's 
it needs someone to go and buy it and go and enjoy it. Do you need this or do you want to put Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you've got that. Stop following me. Thursday, we're obviously not uh, at home. Toby and I don't normally wake up in the same place. Well, that would be weird and very inappropriate. We are on the road again. We are just outside of Silverstone Race Circuit because we are going to the press day for the Porsche Carrera Cup of Great Britain as sponsors. Look at that bad boy machine. There's someone in there asleep in the front. Yeah, I don't really know what to expect today. I know they're going to be going in and out in the cars, they'll be doing interviews and things like that. We'll get to check out the cars, check out the garage, meet some people. There's some sort of ex Formula One um, test drivers and things who are obviously nearly as good at me as driving. Um, so, give them some tips, help them with the training and whatever. Uh, where am I going? I need to look at this. I'd rather have myself on the screen. I'm so vain. Anyway, yeah, we'll see you when we get there. Wow, I think so. I'm just going to ask for ID or something. Oh yeah, we're with the Porsches for Toro Verde. Right, do you know where you're going? Uh, I've begin rough directions, but probably yours will be better. Over two bridges. Yeah. Turn left. Yeah. Long line of trees. Yeah. Turn left immediately behind that. Okay. When you run out of trees, turn right. Okay. Two bridges, right. left, directly after the trees left. After the trees run out, left. Right. Right. Brilliant, thank you very much. I've walked over here before. In fact, I've come here for MotoGP and all the MotoGP riders used to come along here in their like pit um, moped things doing like mega wheelies. If I can find some pictures of this, I'll, I'll put a couple up. Back when I was mad into the MotoGP, followed it religiously. Oh, it would have been this. This bridge was the one that popped the mega wheels on. To be fair. In the moment. Yeah. I probably shouldn't drive down the back of the garages, should I? Yeah. Just going past them. <laughs> Hello, Mike. Yeah. Big boys are here. Sponsors are here, mates. I don't think everything's all liveried up just yet. So they've got. I think you said it was a green truck. We're looking for. Actually, should we hit a uh, driver now? <laughs> I'll have to sub in for yeah, mate. Here we are, Toro Verde. Mm. It must mean our Passat's somewhere around here to buy. That's a Lotus. Oh. And that's, imagine that's our Passat we're buying. That's the other thing I didn't mention is we're buying a Passat off someone while we're here as well. You know, business and pleasure, all that stuff. So this is Jack's car, the driver that we're sponsoring. That's pretty awesome that it's got these kind of like hydraulic air powered rams that lift it up off the ground so they can change the wheels over quickly, which show these absolutely huge Brembo brakes. But my favorite part of this is inside. If you look in the cockpit, A, these carbon fiber doors that you can see like this are the lightest door I've ever kind of operated in my life. It doesn't seem 
realistic that they're actually a door. And then I wouldn't even be able to get in there. I mean, watching Jack get in was quite awkward looking, but imagine me trying to get in there. But look at it in here. That is possibly the coolest cockpit I've actually ever seen in my life. You've got all the little buttons on the side for your lights and I guess fans and whatever. LED screen in the middle for gears. I don't know, you've got loads of information on there, I imagine. Probably got your lap timed, brake bias, all kinds of stuff. Flappy paddles in the back of here. It's not even a proper full steering wheel, it's like a race steering wheel. With a million and one buttons that I would have no idea what they do. Actually, it smells like a new car in there though, which is quite amazing. I thought it would smell like, you know, the nicest possible way to jack sweaty racer bum. <laughs> Because cars and helmets normally do stink, don't they? Especially motorbike ones, things like that. But it smells like a brand new car in there. I guess it is. These come factory made from Porsche. For this, they're all the same. Obviously, some have got different kind of livery and things on, but mechanically all the same. They've all got the four litre flat six boxer engine, which makes 510 horsepower. I was watching some like stuff from C's last season, um, 2023. When you're watching them go around the track on the camera, they don't look as fast as I thought maybe they would be 510, but honestly, when you see them going around the track here, they look properly fast and they sound awesome too. Right, I'll, I'll do a shake your hand and then we'll get into it. So, um, right, so this is Jack himself. Pleasure to meet you finally. And you, and you. This is the car you're going to be racing with this year. It is a bit different than last year's car. It's, um, yeah, well, it's a Porsche. What it else is, can you yeah, say yeah. about it? It's, um, how are you getting on with it? Because it looks pretty awesome. Yeah, I mean, as you see today, we've had uh, a bit of a mixed conditions. At the start, we had lovely dry weather. Yeah. And then, yeah, now we've got lovely rain. Have you been out in the wet now? We have, yeah, how yeah. Was it? It was, it's uh, surprisingly grippy. I was, um, obviously, you never know. First time driving a car, I wasn't expecting to be anywhere near where I thought I was and then yeah find found some pace and yeah, yeah the car's great I'm very impressed what Porsche have done with uh, yeah, yeah. with the setup if you're watching this make sure you follow Jack make sure you follow the <laughs> plenty of updates throughout the uh, throughout the year we're gonna get to some races as well so we'll keep you the updates but get behind Jack uh, we're hoping he has a really good season yeah fingers crossed can't, I mean it can't be any worse than last year so <laughs> yeah be good Right, one other thing we're doing while we're here, um, Simon Godding, who is Jack's kind of like merch man, promotions man, who's originally got in touch with me about sponsoring Jack, has asked if I want to buy his car, and this is it. He's selling his Passat. I've agreed a price with him already. We're going to be picking this up. We're picking it up? We don't need to pick it up, it's, it's here. But we'll be taking this with us today. He's assured me it's a lovely car. Um, it's a DSGE, two litre diesel. It's got a nice panoramic roof. He says it's got a nice uh, Apple CarPlay. What's it, what's it in it? Should be fairly good news. It's in black. I can't remember what the retail on this is, but we will be giving him eight and a half grand. Hold out your hand for this today. And then driving it all the way back down to Somerset. I'm waiting to find out where he's actually got to so we can get that done and dusted out of the way. But yeah you will see me, or Toby. Toby quite fancies the idea of driving it. It is VW after all, and he is a VW fan, a dubber, a V-dub, scrubber dub So yeah, it's not all racing, we're buying some cars too. It's all about business. Business never stops, you know what I mean? Money never sleeps, all that stuff. Yeah, there's a foot like said, the full size spare in there. Lovely, hopefully we won't need that, but. No, you should need, it could do with a couple of tyres on the front. Yeah. Uh, that's brand new. <laughs> All the service stuff's in there. Yeah. Loads of dock paper on that. So this is Simon, we were talking earlier saying we were buying the car. This is Simon's Passat. Simon's the guy that got us involved with this, so Hello. thank you for uh, getting us involved. <laughs> well, thank you for, get, for being involved. Yeah, no, we re honestly really appreciate it. So I, I, um, I work with Jack, I do the commercials, uh, media, merchandise, so this sort of stuff, this sort of stuff, this sort of stuff. If you want it, it's jackbutelwhat? Uh, 96butelmerch.com, but 
well, I'm sure Toby will. Toby will put that at the bottom. Yeah, bottom. that's his favourite thing to do. Um, so yeah, so it, without having partners like Joe um, involved, we can't do this. We can't come racing. There is no such thing as cheap motorsport. We appreciate all of the help, and we're really looking forward to the season. Jack's fast. He's talented. He can do this. Um, he's got some great backing. The team Toro Verde have been absolutely amazing. So stay tuned. Like, it's going to be an awesome season. We've got a lot of confidence, a lot of hope, and uh, we really think he's going to do well. Right, get him off camera. He talks too well. He's going to make me look bad. <laughs> right then, so I need to give you some money. Please. Um, we should have done this inside, really. Yeah, go back, go back in if you want. Let's do that. Feels like my windscreen's going to smash in, mate. Right, it is five to four on Thursday. We're on our way back from Silverstone. We're still about two hours away from home, which is upsetting because uh, it's awful traffic. It's been through a massive hailstone. Stone? Hailstorm that was uh, pretty crazy. We've hit lightning all across the sky as well. Uh, it's not helping traffic, so it's going to be a long way drive back, but it was good fun at Silverstone today. Looking forward to going and seeing some racing in the future. Toby is enjoying the sat that we bought. It's got heated seats and adaptive cruise control, etc. Yeah, it's a shame. I'd like to have got back before five today because it's the bank holiday Friday tomorrow, which means that most people won't be in. Jason's going to go in. I'm probably going to go in for a little bit, uh, but everyone does get a bank holiday day off. Um, I know a lot of you will say that bank holidays would be good for sales and whatever, but generally speaking, I wouldn't say they're that special. So, we'll see. We'll go in for a little bit, see if it uh, is busy or not. But I won't get a chance to catch up with workshop or other certain stuff before got bank holiday Friday and Monday. It's a too short week back to back. Which is a shame because I would like to make some more sales. Get some money in, especially as it's payroll tomorrow. Pay everyone to be even more broke. But hey ho, Josh and Jordan are both off to Germany in April, beginning of April, so this will be their last week of pay. I think Jordan wants to stay on for one more week or two. This will be the last one for Josh. They're going off to Germany to do mechanical stuff on a military bases. Random, but that's what is lined up for them. Right then, folks, it is Friday. Bank holiday Friday. It's not Easter. Is it Easter Friday? Good Friday? Maybe? I don't know. Whatever it is. I don't pay any attention anyway, carry on working as per. Um, everyone else is off other than Jason, typical good quality salesman, wants to be here. He's out taking pictures of the Range Rover Sport that Josh and McCauley picked up yesterday, or uh, the day before. I'm in here just sorting out some admin now, doing a few social media posts of the Range Rover, for example. There we are, look. new stock of that. And I need to pay wages and sort out admin y boring stuff. It's been quite quiet so far. Um, I guess, as you'd expect, for bank holiday, bank holidays can even be super busy with people coming out, sort of shopping for cars or quiet. Nice times out of 10, they're quiet actually. Um, a lot of salespeople would be like, you have to be in on a, on a bank holiday. Oh, that's a that's a top sales day, and I am here normally to be honest because I'm a workaholic. Um, but I wouldn't say they're necessarily like grand slams of sales to be honest. But what do I know? I'm far from an expert. I need someone in a YouTube comment to give me the expert advice. Yeah. Um, what else are we going? I might try and film. We've got a couple more little cheap part exchanges come in. I'm going to try and film one of those today, uh, if it stays quiet. 
I'd like to have found out what's happened with our green truck. Because now that Josh and Jordan are both off to Germany and no longer going to be part of Bear Motors, wish them all the best, obviously, they can probably sell the green recovery truck and maybe even sell the Navara as well, typically, because we've just had it both, both of them signed written. But the reality is if we've got just Macaulay driving and he can tow the trailer with a thing, we've got two trailers, um, free up some cash, we don't really need it. They're normally quite good sellers. Maybe we won't, I don't know. I haven't really thought too much into that yet, but I want to get my truck back from... Uh, the green truck, basically, has been... It failed at MIT. It needed a top mount, I think. Struggling to find the right one for the right Iveco. Um, and, yeah, so we're waiting to hear when they've done with that. I've got new glasses, which is good news. It's incredible how much better I can actually see now. Um, but I'm getting used to them, so I'm not very, not very good at the computer, but they're definitely much better. I think I'm short-sighted, is what they tell me. In fact... Bizarrely, I've still got 20-20 vision, but I need glasses. Does that sound right? I don't know. Um, I think my vision's pretty good, but just for distance. So me looking at the sales board over there now, I can read it, but it's, you know, it's like 480p. I put this on, and that's 4K vision. Still, I can still read it all, I guess. So technically, you can say, yes, I can read that. That means technically you have 20-20 vision, because you can read it. But maybe I've just got a good brain that kind of, you know, can make the most of what I'm seeing. Uh, but yeah, now I've got a couple of pairs of funky glasses. Let me show you the other ones. A bit of a random day today because we haven't got Toby here. Toby's off. What about these ones? I haven't really looked at these ones yet. Sophie said these look awful. She doesn't like these, but you tell me. That's option number two. Look, these ones feel very comfortable. Option number one. Well, then I'll show you. In fact, option number three. If I'm really desperate, these are the ones that were broken. The old prescription, which has changed now. I put these on. So they're a lesser prescription, and they're just scratched to buggery, and they've got weird, odd mixed arms because I had to do that. Luckily, I don't have to put up with that anymore. Um, yeah, can't think of what else is happening. I'll give you a little update if we do something else. Maybe we'll, we'll have a little walk up the forecourt, see what's about. I'm just waffling, really. Fill out Friday, because there ain't going to be much to see. Toby is in tomorrow. We'll be editing. Again, I don't think there'll be many people here. Probably just me, uh, blah, 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 Jason and Toby. So, yeah. I'll see you later on today if I do anything interesting. If I don't, I'll just see you on Saturday. Bye. Right, so Friday. What can I tell you about Friday? We have, what have we done? We've ended up selling at least one car. Jason's got some finance across the line um, on a little Fiat and the Navara that I bought from James. We've taken a deposit on it, uh, but we have got to hang on to it for a month. The guy's waiting on his pension to come out. He sort of came straight in and asked me whether I'd do it. And I, he said, would you hold a car for a month? And I said, no, I hate doing that. But um, I'll ask Jason. Jason's the man I've put in charge of doing sales. If he wants to do that, then you know I'm willing to hear his input on it. My view is I don't like hanging on to cars because you know we could sell it quicker than that anyway and the cash is recycled. On the other hand, it's a safer bet because you know if he doesn't have it, after the month or whatever, then uh, we keep that thousand pounds as agreed with him. You know, if we hold it for a month, we're definitely, you know, this is when the, the chap said, um, oh, if, I, if anything goes wrong, I don't get the money in time, then, you know, you can keep the thousand pounds. It's like, well, we will be, you know, that's the whole point. Um, so yeah, we've, we've done that anyway. So that means Jason can get another one on the board um, for this month. And that over there, I'm gonna take it down the farm now today and get it out of the way because it can sit down there for a little while before we sort of MOT nearer the time. No sense doing it now. Um, it makes another sale, I guess. Um, and yeah, Jason's been getting some pictures and stuff done. I've been doing some admin and whatever. Um, got a couple of sort of park exchange cars here. Well, one here, one down the farm. Got that Grand Vitara over there. I'm gonna try and do a video with that tomorrow. I thought I might have done it today, but didn't quite get time. And then down the farm is a 207 I've already started doing a video on. They've now cleaned it and fixed the mechanical stuff and I need to finish up with that. 
but they took it down the farm so I'll bring that back um, that's about it really nothing too exciting to happen but we'll be back in again tomorrow me Jason and Toby um, be interesting to see if Mark turns up we have Mark and Dan on alternately on Saturdays um, what tends to always happen on a bank holiday weekend um, with anyone really other than Jason who's obviously very sales driven so he wants to be here anyway um, is that someone thinks if they've got the Friday or the Monday or especially if they got both off because it's a bank holiday they also get the Saturday off but the Saturday is not a bank holiday that's a normal working day it doesn't really work like that unless they want to take it off which I'm more than happy for them to do um, so I could message Mark and be like you're aware that it is a normal working day are you going to come in or not but it doesn't really matter if he doesn't but he will lose it in holiday so maybe I should you know he should know this they should all know this these are just the weird things that you have to deal with when you're an employer um, yeah that's it Sophie's down the farm now someone's having a look at the galaxy I don't know if we showed you the galaxy whistle then um, a galaxy, I've got to stop saying um, that's not threatened, that make me come across as very intelligent, does it? Um, the, a galaxy, we took it in part exchange against something else, I think we gave about a thousand pounds for it. It's quite high mileage, 160,000 miles, but it's a seven seat galaxy. I might have, might have put this in a video previously, I can't remember. So, hopefully you can get that sold now. It's actually quite a decent car to be fair. Uh, done it again. Uh, um, Anyway, that's it for Friday, I reckon. Nothing else too exciting is going to happen. So we'll just catch up with you tomorrow when Toby's back and he can make it look far more professional. See you tomorrow. So I better start now. I knew when he was in, I thought oh, he's taking too long, something's not right. It's been perfect. See what I mean? It's just like there's a symbol on there that's got a lock on the car. Oh, what's what the immobilizer symbol? Well, I don't know. Yeah, I do. Oh, we have to the key up. Well, funny enough, when Lee's key was fucked up, it, but it's never been wrong before. Because his was, was into me and you could turn it and it would start and fail. I tried that. <laughs> yeah. Just disconnect the battery for 10 minutes and do a bit of a hard. Yeah. Must love us. We don't love it as much though. <laughs> I wouldn't dislike it. I do. <laughs> It's, it's like it's a nice car. No, there's nothing it? wrong with the car, it's just the, the fact that it's been it so bloody yeah. long. Oh yeah, yeah. Alright, I'll go and get a face over. Uh, Battery disconnected, we'll give it... What time is it? 25 to 12. Maybe we'll run the uh, Passats down to the car wash quickly. By the time we get back we can reconnect it and see if it's reset itself. Readjust its attitude. That's what my my other half needed this morning. A little, just a little reset to re readjust your attitude. That could be very sexist of me to say, isn't it? Yeah, I would say that. People might be like, "What did you do?" Yeah, you should boost. yeah, yeah. I knocked her out. Um, yeah, good enough. I would nudge it back a couple of inches. Place your bets now, Toby. What you spot?
Get off, be it. Fix it again tomorrow. Steering torque unavailable. What does that mean? Mm. Cars. Got a love them. No. I'm sure you don't. No. Well, I can't touch it, this thing. <laughs> You're miles away from it. Better safe than sorry. Too bad, but at least they're even. Hello, right, it is the, what day is it? Saturday, end of the week, although it was bank holiday, whatnot. Um, we're off tomorrow. We'll be back in, well, Toby won't be back in Monday, but I'll be back in Monday, as will Jason, because we're, we're not part timers like Toby and the rest of them. Um, so we need to do best car bought, best car sold. I feel like we need to change maybe and have something different for our end of week sign off rather than a best car bought, best car sold. Don't know, Toby's nodding. Let us know your suggestions in the comments if there's something else you'd like to, like, I don't know. Worst car sold, worst car bought. I don't know, it's something different. But best car bought, it's gotta be this Range Rover. Look at that bad boy. The lads picked this up from Liverpool-ish uh sort of north wales area i think around that sort of way um it's very nice my dad's been over here sniffing around already he doesn't like black cars but he's seen this he's got on it and, you know uh yeah we'll see it is a very nice example to be fair it's been a probably a week of black four by fours because probably the best car we sold was the nissan navara that we got from james of chops garage we have got hold on to it for a month which is a nuisance i didn't really want to do that so don't slag me off in the comments saying, I don't know what I'm doing. Jason's sales manager. I let him make the choice. But he wanted to, I mean, to be fair, he wanted to take the, the sale now and guarantee that we sell it at the full asking price. We might have sold it in two weeks' time, but maybe we'd have knocked some money off. So who knows? But that sold. Good margin in that. And again, nice car. Nice low mileage. Um, yeah, that's it. Trying to think what else has been happening this week. Well, we were away, weren't we? We went and saw some race car stuff. So hopefully you enjoyed seeing that. And we'll get to some more races in the future, hopefully. Um, I don't think I bought... No, I did buy a few cars, didn't I? We have got the, got the Mini from Bradford with no keys. I'll get on the phone to the uh, key man next week. And we'll try and get that sort of booked in. Probably make a video out of that. Um, bought the Passat from Simon when we were up at Silverstone. So Jason's out there as we speak, taking photographs of that. I took it to the uh, local hand car wash and they did a okay job. Good enough for pictures, but we'll clean it properly next week. Um, all change going on next week. We'll have Jordan back, but Josh is, Josh is done um, because they're both off to Germany. I've probably said this a hundred times over. Um, so, yeah, it'll be a start of a new dawn, a dawn of a new day, new era, all that sort of stuff next week. We'll have Jordan for a few days. Um, we're going to go do some, some I was going to say crazy golf, but it's not. We're going to go to the driving range, so maybe we'll try and get some clips of that. Um, that's it. So I hope you've enjoyed this week. I hope it's been a good one. I can't remember. I can never remember what's happened, really, in these weeks, but... Not been that busy on sales. I would like it to pick up next week, fingers crossed. So if you're looking for a lovely motor, like a Range Rover or an Alpha, we're the ones to speak to. Um, hopefully we'll have less issues like this thing, which we sold, finally. It's been here for ages and now it won't start. It's doing something really weird. I guess it must be a mobilizer or something. So 
I'm going to get slated for that as well. But this is, this is the truth. This is the honesty of this kind of uh, series, is that we just tell it how it is. And these things happen. That car was perfectly fine. And now this morning, for some reason, it just won't start when the person wants to take it away. And we've got to give them a courtesy car before they even had their new car. Nightmare. But they're lovely people and they're understanding. I'm sure it's going to be a simple case of plugging it in and telling it something in the morning on Tuesday. You think it'd be easy just flogging cars and it's all just taking money hand over fist, but it's not. It's a lot of bloody headaches. Anyway, on that cheerful note, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Uh, if you want to sell a car, go to Carsport for more. If you want to buy a car, go to barrymotors.co.uk. If you want some merch or a private registration, go to shiftingmetal.co.uk. Um, yeah, I think that's everything. Have I forgotten anything? Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. Why not? The whole kit and caboodle. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.